Hey everybody and welcome back to Felseal. So it's been a very long time since I've covered this game. Uh, I originally made just one video. Unfortunately, each time I uploaded that video, the audio was always terrible. So I kept remaking it and re-uploading it and remaking it and re-uploading it. And at the beginning, it was a fairly in-depth video where I explained the different kinds of equipment icons and different things explain the grinding method that my current four minute video covers but that video is as short as it is because i just got to a point where i got tired of remaking that video over and over again and just wanted to move on to something else since the entire reason i was making that video was just that i love this game so much i just wanted to share the way that was the quickest for me to get all of the classes maxed out but over time, I've come to notice from YouTube comments that the lack of clarity in that video has made it not as valuable as I once intended it to be. So I've decided to just put up a quick series on Felseal as a whole, just to cover all of the little minutia, go over some builds, uh, just really tackle all the little stuff so that if anyone has any questions in the future, I can either post a link to one of those videos as a response instead of, you know, just going and making it feel like the only way to get more information out of one of my videos is for me to just reply to people's comments. <laughs> I figure, you know, this, this just makes a lot more sense to do. So this will be the first in this series. And today we're just going to be covering the different equipment types, since that is the most recent comment that I've seen was in regards to the swimming mechanic. So let's uh, go over that. I will just pick number four, I guess. Now, apologies if there's any spoilers on the screen here. However, this game has been out for quite a long time now. <laughs> so if... Any of you are hoping to not get spoiled on which characters you get throughout the game, or if any of you have any idea who this guy is, then <laughs> apologies. So as long as I've remembered, hopefully I did, there should have been a spoiler tag at the start of the video warning about what I'm showing here. So if I did my job, you were warned. Moving on. So in Felsi Arbiter's Mark, there are quite a few different movement types in the game. And most of these come from the way movement worked in Final Fantasy Tactics, with the exception of the water movement, since water wasn't really a thing. And it actually, in pretty much all like isometric tactical RPGs, you really don't see water movement. So Felseal is kind of a, a unique bird in that regards. So in Felseal, Every class has different things that they're capable of. Now, if you look at the class here, you notice that on the bottom there, where you see the green boot, it tells you that the Reaver class has a movement speed of four, a jump height of four. It also has this little flipper here. The little flipper means that the Reaver class can swim. So if you go through these, you see the duelist can swim, Templar cannot, or can the knight, the mercenary can swim, Kyrie's or Kyrie, however you want to see her name, her story class can swim, but you know, there are classes that can, classes that can't. The reason that's important is that on maps where there's water, and let me use uh, my Bezel friend here, on maps where there's water, enemies such as, I can remember the name, it's been a while. Rackerjack, I believe, Good kick. Yeah, so enemies such as the Rackerjack have a skill that can make you swap places with them. And if your character cannot swim, then their AI will target you so that they can swap positions with you and drown you in the water, which is what gave me the idea for my AP farming video to begin with. 
that method was born from that specifically. But because of that, if you're going into a map where there's any there are any kind of water tiles and there's an enemy on that map that's capable of knocking you into the water or swapping places with you, then you want to make sure that all of your characters are capable of swimming. And there's two ways of guaranteeing that. One is with the flippers, as I've mentioned multiple times. So the flippers can be purchased pretty early on. I believe that we go to we go to this shop here. Usually the order that you see everything in is usually when they came available. So I believe the flippers become available, like if not within the first act, then like probably like the start of the second act. And once you have access to those, you know that your character will be able to survive a drowning attack. And then obviously the other way is that they just happen to be a class using a class that is capable of swimming. It already has the flipper icon right there. So next up, we're going to be talking about the float or hover movement type. So that one you really only see on accessories. So in this case, I have him wearing the hover boots. And so we'll just do like a quick demo on that. So we can see with our Bizarro here that when you have the boot with the wing on it, you can stand over any surface. Now, going back to Zaro, while I do have him currently wearing those hover boots, if I pop those off, he does, unlike the other classes, because his jobs are all different monsters, he does have other ways of getting float. So if he was to use the Zatzit, Hectite, Arch Afflictor, I think that's it. Yeah. So if he was to use any of those three, then he could have it naturally. But that isn't the class I have him on, which is why I had him wearing the oh, there we go, hover boots. Since I do like to have him assist in the assassinations as well. So his using the sneak and skulk from the Rakujak lets him as I pointed out, flip kick works the same way as sabotage in the lethality tree from Assassin. So using Bizarro that way is another option for your assassin makeup. But those are all the ways that you can gain access to that type that I'm aware of. I don't recall ever finding any other accessory that did that. Let me see. Just want to make sure. Yeah, just hover boot. Yeah, so your options if you want to do you know, to use that movement type are use Zaro, use hover boots. Uh, I don't actually recall when the hover boots came available. I don't remember if I crafted them. And unfortunately, because once you've crafted enough stuff, you like it gets removed from the list, unfortunately. So yeah, you can craft the flippers and the rift walkers, but it doesn't look like you can craft the... Yeah, I don't think you can craft the hover boots. So well, however I got these, I have two of them. So I don't know if I got them off of, you know, as a random drop like a rare drop from an enemy or if it was a reward from a quest but they're in the game so you can find them and um and i did test it if you are using hover you will be considered to be swimming by enemies that target characters that aren't capable of swimming you knock them into water so you can forego swimming for hover if you happen to have hover on a unit. Next up, let's talk about flying. That is the next movement type. And so flying is this wing here. So you're going to see that I have two characters that have it right now. However, neither one of them is actually wearing anything that should grant them that. So... See, he's using some pain walkers and some grandum treads, and she's using the rift walkers. So for them, they are considered to be flying, but they are not actually flying. What does flying mean? In Felseal, flying simply means that their jump stat is irrelevant. Whatever it says there, they can move to any height. So I'll just 
this map here because that there's an elevation I can use. So as we can see here on this map, Reiner is currently sitting at an elevation of four, uh, 14. And this here is an elevation of 24. In this case, oh no, yes. So here, that's an elevation of 26. So that's beyond his actual jump height, but he's still able to get there because he has a special class passive that allows him to teleport. And teleporting counts as flying as far as that mechanic goes. So teleporting is essentially considered flying and the only other way to fly in Felseal is once again with a bezel. So you'll see for Bizarro. Oh, right. Forgot. Move the hover boots. Okay. So for Bizarro, as an Arpia, Malkabus, and Ursine, Tangrel. So as those as those classes, Bizarro would be able to fly. He'd be considered a flying creature, and therefore elevation would matter. However, flight. Unlike hovering, flight is not considered the same as swimming. So when you're hovering, you are actually above whatever surface you are standing on. When you are flying, it simply means you can move over things. It does not mean that you can just jump into the water. So let's have, have a demonstration here. So she is a princess, which is a class that can swim. So you will switch her to a vessel, which cannot whatever i don't care but now she can fly but she can't swim so because she can't swim you can see that even though she can move to all of these tiles she cannot land on anything that is considered water because she would drown so if you try to get around the swimming limitation with flying it's not gonna work sadly and that's all the movement tech in felsio arbiter's mark thanks for watching the video i'll talk to you all next time bye